I'm thinking about bugs all the time. Too much on my mind. And I'm likely to forget them. Spiders are so greatly feared here in the United States that it almost seems cool to be afraid of them and to hate them. Ask yourself though, have you ever been bitten by a spider? Do you not see them in your house all the time in the warmer months of the year? They come in during the fall. Do you know anybody who has been bitten by a spider? When you think about it, you'll realize that you've lived around them your entire life and you've never been bothered by them. Maybe there's a few exceptions out there and I would invite those people to tell their stories, but there aren't very many dangerous spiders in the United States and none of them ever go out of their way to bite you. Human beings are not on the menu. The point of this video is to show you some of the spiders that I have here in the Portland area of Oregon. I love all the spiders in my yard. If a pest control company comes anywhere near the house, I send them away running and you'll get to see a little clip of that in my next video called uh, Not Quite a Bug Room Tour Part 2. Please enjoy this video if you have spider stories to share with the rest of us. If you find that these videos help you deal with some of your innate fears about spiders or perhaps some of your learned fears about them, please share your experiences. Spiders, to me, are very beautiful animals. I consider them bugs, um, insects, centipedes, millipedes. All of these things are fascinating to me and, of course, are subject material for my channel here on YouTube. And this isn't the first spider video I made, but it is the first of many. As the years go on, we'll be taking a look at a lot of spiders. And in fact, very soon, I'm going to be doing a video about trapdoor spiders, where I hope to showcase the largest species here in the United States, as well as uh, some habitat video about my local species, the folding door trapdoor spider. I've had the pleasure over the years of experiencing quite a few different kinds of trapdoors, including the African ones, and I look forward to making that video for you guys. And I know that I probably don't have a lot of arachnid viewers on this channel yet, but um, I do have a personal interest in them, and I think through watching this video, you will see that I'm familiar with my local ones at least, as well as uh, quite a few of the pet ones, uh, which don't appear in this video. Anyway, please enjoy, and if you have any comments down below, I always welcome them, and as usual, if you have any questions about pet bugs or uh, any other bug-related topics, you're welcome to ask those too. There's a lot to unpack here. Over here, on these pink flowers, got a male misumina crab spider, flower crab spider. Quite a few of them here on this pink plant. And then down here, there's a yellow one hiding there. And it appears that there's a male with her. She's either eating him or they are breeding. Down here, there is a misumina actively feeding on this bee. The bee came to the flower. Have a sip of nectar, do a little pollinating, and it was betrayed, a yellow spider, perfectly camouflaged there in the middle of the flower, reached out, grabbed the bee, the shadow behind tells the story.
death. What a perfect setting. Beard the Giant from Instagram, Giovanni, requested this picture of a Misumina vatia, a yellow goldenrod crab spider. Did I say all that right, Jessica? Mm -hmm. Yes. This is what Jessica did. Isn't that pretty? This is Misumina. This is what Jessica named herself after here on Instagram, at Miss Amina. These yellow and sometimes white spiders, see the two red stripes there, the sides of the abdomen, they rest on flowers and wait for flies, bees, often pollinators, to come along they blend in so well that their prey do not see them. Not dangerous to people at all. Well, I was sweeping the steps and somehow down here towards the bottom, before I swept, I happened to notice that there were a bunch of baby hatchling Arrhenius diadematus. Saw a sack of them hatch upstairs outside my window recently. Maybe some of you saw that video. Because I make a trip up and down these steps so many times every day, I'm going to relocate them because I'm thinking about bugs all the time. Too much on my mind. And I'm likely to forget them. I'm going to move them over here into the bushes, a safer place. And voila. They'll be better off over there. Still a few stragglers here. Try to get them down. I don't know if there are any underneath the edge there. Put them over here too, so that they can have their safety in numbers. And there. Now I can finish sweeping my steps. Another White Sox exclusive. This is a flower from a maple tree. Colobius severus, the hackle mesh weaver that lives above my back door, but not alone. So, another group of these baby Arrhenius have hatched. You can see they're making their way up. To this holly tree. And when they're ready, and when the wind picks up, they'll fly away. Balloon. Put a little line of silk out from the tip of their abdomen that will get picked up in the wind currents and whisk them away. Now over here, we have older juveniles. Two of them, spinning webs, 
against this tree. And this flyaway here between the deck and the tree. These ones didn't hatch out here in the spring. It's late May now. These ones actually overwintered. They had hatched in the fall and probably didn't have a lot to eat, but we have mild winters here. And in the wet months, the colder months, there are a lot of fungus gnats and small crane flies and things like that around. And it's quite possible that they were able to sustain themselves and their metabolism probably slows down a little bit too on account of the cold weather. Now I can see that there's a predator here among our baby Arrhenius. Another species of spider. And it appears to be carrying away one of our little spiderlings. Appears to have temporarily left it behind. That may be a juvenile Enoplognatha, comb-footed spider, same family as false widows. Not really sure, but it probably lives under these leaves here. And its home was invaded today. There it goes. Returning for its meal, you can see that it has wrapped up that baby Arrhenius diadematus. And there, maybe under that leaf there, some remains of prior victims, the dark spot. And so, safety in numbers. All these little spiders cluster together. Predators might be confused about which one to grab because maybe they're overwhelmed by the options. Another predator looming over there. I believe it's a plant bug nymph. And through their rostrum, they would happily impale one of these young Arrhenius. They're yellow when they're immatures like this, nymphs. Perhaps in a moment, we'll see it taking advantage of this unexpected spider bounty. Always lots to see if you look long enough and close enough. Too much yet. There's one of those black and white day flying moths. I see these outside my window. Oh yeah. In the evening hours all the time. Got a little bit of moth action here. Soldier beetle? Uh -huh. I believe we got two spiders mating right here, by the way. You might want to. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. These ones oh, here are. appear to be Peristeotota. Can't really say for sure. Not too bad for a camera phone. You know, I thought we had a mating here. Starting to think that we have <laughs> feeding. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, the epigenum, her 
genital pore would be on the underside of her abdomen there. Oh. And this male is coming at it at the wrong angle. That's interesting. That's usually the other way around. The female usually eats the male. Yeah, I don't think it's a case of him just doing it wrong. <laughs> interesting. Yeah, let's uh, give it a little poke there, even though this the prime directive forbids me from doing this. I am curious enough at this point to give him a little poke. And yes, she is very much dead. And uh, wow. he'll come back to her here in a moment. Continue feeding on her, but oops. Did you hear that large animal snapping sticks down there behind us by any chance? Yeah, it's a beaver bear. I mean, good news for the male. He is back to feeding on the female. And show Jesse something here. Oh. Come check it out. Have you ever seen one of these before? I bet you've seen them out oh, in nature definitely. before. Oh, yeah. Tons. The, uh, I think it's called oh. Monotropa. Monotropa. It's a uh, plant it's that lacks chloroplasts, and so it's a parasite. It feeds. Um, I'd actually seen this. Uh, there's a whole bunch of this. This was all underneath some plastic bags I had wow. down here. And there was a bunch of this fungus down here, which I guess grows on tree roots. Okay, this is not a fungus at all. Nope, it's I not. thought I at first thought it was a fungus a the other day, do. and I had, had to look it up again. <laughs> they call it like it's like sometimes don't they call it like angel something? It's, but it's called ghost 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 plant, That's, I think. Yeah, ghost plant, or something and then like. uh, I think Indian pipe is the more common name for it, and it's pretty widespread, but very seldom seen. You got some good stalks too. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to uh, watch those little flowers open. One of them's got some black. Dude, haven't you seen Invasion of the Body Snatchers? <laughs> no. Come on, same thing. No. <laughs> this, this, this thing right here is going to open up at night and crawl into your innards and eat your brain and gain your knowledge. <laughs> Intense. It's, it's, got a, it's got quite a future ahead of it. <laughs> Hope it likes bugs. It's gonna start selling bugs pretty soon. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look at it again in a few days. Watch those flowers open up. It's wearing a little Shapes of Nature sweatshirt. Like, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> there was a big trapdoor spider burrow here somewhere a few weeks oh, ago. Yeah, I looked for it last night, but I couldn't find it. Since we're out here and I'm doing a spider video anyway, there is a big folding door trapdoor spider right there in that hole. You saw it just tuck back in. That is the biggest burrow entrance for one oh of my. these spiders I've ever seen. She's down in there too. See, see her just peeking out. Oh, well, what do we have going on here? Dueling opileones. Two daddy long legs. Got big joints on their legs. This species, for some reason. A little different than our garden variety ones. They even seem to be using those front legs. A little bit like antennae appear to be just slightly longer, kind of like Venonis. Strange that there would be two of them here on this plant. I wonder if there are any more. Is that salmonberry? This guy over here. Man, what are you looking at? Check it out. Oh, sweet, a harvestman. A little one. Yeah, there were actually two of them in proximity to each other. Maybe that means it's a breeding pair. Oh, wow. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit the little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching.